I received my CGX mount back from Celestron today and decided I would check it out here a little bit at home before I go carting it back to the observatory. Okay, I'm currently pointed at the moon in the south and I'm going to attempt to slew to Enoch. There's stop number one. Stop number two. Stop number three. And the end of the slew. Currently pointed at M2, and I'm going to attempt to go to NGC 253, or the Sculptor Galaxy. Stop number one. Stop number two. Stop number three. Slew. Okay, this time I'm going to try to simulate an alignment uh, using stars that are somewhere out there. Okay, it wants to do Vega, so we'll try Vega. Okay, next star out here. Okay, we're going to uh, attempt some calibration stars. We'll go with FOMO Hot. Uh, 
drop one. Stop two. Stop three. I don't know if you can see that or not, but when it stops, it uh, makes a quick movement in the opposite direction and then continues forward. That's my problem. It's been a few days since I've had this mount turned on. Uh, the last time I used it, it was doing the start-stop thing uh, quite a bit with the hand control regardless of which direction in the sky you went. Um, so I connected it to my computer direct using CPWI and it seemed to work okay for the most part. However, it did stop once or twice while I was messing with it. So I decided that I would just hold off and uh, get my StarSense hand unit and give that a try. Um, so mount had been sitting for three or four days without being turned on. I turned it on tonight with the StarSense hand unit and the RA didn't move. Um, so then I did the updates on the StarSense hand control again, um, same problem. So then I switched to CPWI and uh, the RA would not move just like it did originally. So now I have the original hand control connected again and uh, I'm going to see if I can't show you the problem. My last attempt to show that the RA wasn't moving, um, the scope works fine. But Saturday night I did uh, try to track what would have been M45 and it stopped after about an hour and a half. So I turned it on again and just tried today. I uh, went to do an alignment and the RA didn't move so we're going to find out what happens now. And we're going to go to the switch position. Okay, we're going to attempt to go to Saturn. And as you can see, the RA does not move. So it seems as though all of these other little problems that I've been having all go back to the very original problem that I had as to why I sent it back to Celestron to begin with, which is no RA move. 